uh, hello uh, we are now demonstrating uh, uh, rf spy software uh, basically this today's problems we are discussing about the impedance matching issues using l network design uh, this is normally people are using rc network rl network uh, lc network different different types of network useful for the impedance matching uh, by using our spy software i am uh, demonstrating uh, this functionality so this is our uh, l network design problem problem is a uh, design a uh, l network circuit to match a 50 ohm source to a 1000 ohm load at 1000 megahertz so this is my center frequency 1000 megahertz and uh, assume that a dc voltage must also be transferred from the source to the load and the load is uh, resistive in nature basically so uh, here is the 50 ohm normally all the sources in the rf sides are attuned to the 50 ohm uh, and uh, most of the times your load is not in your control so many times this uh, different different load conditions with the different load values are there uh, here this load is completely resistive load 1000 ohm so my job is to connect this 1000 ohms to my sower so i am getting attending good uh, uh, return loss as well as good impedance matching by using this network so to first uh, i have to calculate the design steps given data is a 50 ohm is my input uh, rl side is 1000 ohm frequency 1 gigahertz and now we are going to observe the z parameter basically the z parameter shows exactly when you are looking from the first port how much impedance you are looking at the second port that impedance or the matching impedance exact value uh, it can be shown in the z parameter and also you can see the imaginary same things you can also watch with the smith chart this these two things are complementary with each other only the things are there the smith charts always plot in their uh, conventional smith chart style but in the z parameter that is an x uh, is the frequency and y is your real z parameter so we are going to uh, observe this before that uh, uh, we can go for this uh, design steps so this is my design step uh, first i have to calculate the q of the circuit uh, the Q of the circuit is basically QS series is equal to QP parallel is equal to this is RL by RS minus 1. My RS is 50 ohm, RL is 1000 minus 1. So I am getting my Q is 4.35. I copy this Q, put it here. So X series arms. X series arm means what? Uh, this this fellow is in the series and this fellow is a parallel so i have to calculate one is in the impedance in series and impedance in parallel so this impedance 4.35 i keep it here rs i know rs my is 50 ohm obviously so that is a 270.5 ohm x parallel arm is rp uh, by qp again i borrow this uh, qp factor so i am getting these two e reactances these two reactances, one is a series reactance, second is a parallel reactance and from these reactances we calculate the L value and C value. L is equal to series reactance upon 3 omega and uh, capacitor value is 1 upon uh, your reactance into omega. So uh, in this way we are getting these two values 3.4 nanohenry and 0 0.6 picofarad. So this is now this is our circuit. So we model this circuit in RF spice. So this is the symbol of RF spice. Double click on RF spice software. Okay, we go for new and uh, this is the button for the new uh, section press the r button on your keyboard r button so when you press it r this your resistance is coming r for resistance you can keep this resistance you can select this resistance say control r for rotation so control r is to rotate the things means you have to press the control button on the keyboard and r button so you can rotate like this way okay 
so this is the, our load resistance rl okay and this is 1000 ohm or 1k it's same then we have to take uh, we have to press the button c for the capacitor that is a shortcut key is basically uh, also you have to rotate the button so this is the rotation so our c value is 0 0.69 small p this p is a, a small not the bigger one okay this is capacitor we required one more inductor value that is we have to press l button on the keyboards and l is there so here we have to press uh, 3.4 nano henry again this n is a small okay so we can keep here So uh, we can join this fellows. Escape button is there. Uh, you can try it. Click that. So this is actually the wire button. You can drag and so you can place the wires here, there, likewise. Or to exit this thing, you just press escape button. So it will escape press the zero button on the screen so you can take this or uh, again i have to press this one more zero connect the ground circuit okay now pull this wire for this okay press alt n alt n button is for your port this is a port port p1 which is then having a 50 ohm port so this is a p o r t port 1 uh, underscore 50 ohm if else ohm is there then we can definitely put the rs resistance here this this port is actually on a 50 ohm port so no need to put an rs resistance like this way where uh, generally we see this uh, rs resistance uh, this this resistance is a 50 ohms if it is else like 10 ohm or 100 ohm or something else then we can definitely put this resistance before port but now this is a 50 ohm so no need to uh, place the resistance so simply port 1 then again press alt n alt n you have to press alt n n and connect uh, port 2 oh, this port 2 so my circuit is over now this is the simulation tool this is the, in the schematic window my circuit is over then you can see that the pallets are there you have to click on the test there are different different testings are there available here but we are going for the network analysis test so click on this click on the setup button so first button is connection click on the nodes Click on the nodes, drag the things and select port 1, 50 ohm. So again port 2, click on the node button, scroll it and find out the port 2. So this is my port 1, this is my port 2, I am giving entry for port 1, port 2. Then I go in the sweep button, so this is a connection button, you have to click on the sweep button, you have to put an entry like 0 0.5 gigahertz or you can put also like uh, 0 0.1 gigahertz to 1.5 gigahertz setting is linear this is megahertz this is 10 so this is the start frequency stop frequency step size is 10 megahertz now go to output select the output which you required Suppose if you require a smith chart, then you just click on the smith chart button, automatically all the things are disabled and it say run. Okay. Now go to the layout and say single window. So you can observe here, you can just delete S21, S12, no needed. Here you can observe your S11, it's, it's sharply tuned to your one. Uh, this is your impedance exactly 50 ohm circle it is very close uh, uh, matching is very close to the 50 ohms even this part is the resistive part even we can click and we can observe 
okay here is the marker is there and you can see this readings uh, almost in this panel real and imaginary and this is the frequency now i go at higher side like 780 megahertz you can observe the um, real and imaginary uh, uh, values we are getting from uh, this at 1.4 we are getting this at even we can click to s22 so our s22 is again nicely match again it has comes to uh, arc side at 1 gigahertz this is the actually marker you go there you click on the marker so this is the s22 here you can observe this is the s parameter results which is close to impedance uh, circle one circle now we will go for the cartesian plot say the impedance z so we just remove this and say uh, run so again go to single window and here uh and go to edit access so edit graph set this window white okay so now this window is white and uh edit access trackers so here you can see the uh, real impedance z11 imaginary z11 so we only required to visualize not even imaginary only the z axis we have to observe and uh, you can see this is the red color if i disable the z22 z22 and z11 are truly uh, behaviors are the same even this is the now this is the uh, color z1 and z2 are overlap with each other if you go in the marker side and go to 1 gigahertz 1 gigahertz and see the impedance and the same impedance match to 50 ohm so so this line is go to straight and if i put exactly at the 50 ohm side okay i set this marker okay now i am getting 52 ohm if i click on 1 gigahertz okay i had this 1 gigahertz okay 1 gigahertz Okay, now I adjust it. So at one gigahertz exactly, exactly 50.389 is uh, you can see here the cursor values. When I adjust x cursor is frequency megahertz, uh, y cursor is actually your ohm impedance match. So you just observe. Again I go to one gigahertz, one gigahertz, and click on the lines. And now you can I adjust one gigahertz. Okay, so. there is an exactly okay now you can visualize the x uh, cursor and y cursor value is on 50 and x cursor is on 1.003 gigahertz so this point we match our z11 and z22 parameter by using exactly at 50 thank you